Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to uh, add our application to Git. So first of all, check your Git installed on your computer. So just open command prompt and uh, type git space dash dash version. Okay, so git is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program for the batch file. So there is a not installed into, into your computer. If you want to download your Git and install it, then first of all, uh, download Git from URL that is git-scm.org.com uh, slash downloads. So you can see uh, in the Google uh, downloads options directly git.scm.com slash downloads. And here we have Max, Windows and Linux operation options is there. So I have a 64-bit operating system, so that just download 64-bit Git uh, for Windows setups. Actually, Git is a, uh, provide to uh, uh, open source uh, platform where you can host your applications or you can save your application on Git. Uh, so anyone can download from the GitHub and actually github and the git is the both separation of uh, both are the separate because github is actually use a git okay so after download you can install your git platform so git setups just click on the next button setup will install git on this directory program files and default selection is okay and the next thing is to next click and use the default editor that is the c plus plus editor just i want to use it in the git uh, and any other use not plus uh, if you are not plus uh, notepad plus plus is not download so just click on the notepad plus plus and download it the latest version first of all and after that you have to set your uh, set up your git so just click on the notepad plus plus and here you can select the download options where you in the left panel and just click on it the download button and click download notepad plus plus okay so here we go and not download notepad plus plus version is 8.2.1 that is the latest version and download for the 64 bit operating systems and just download it after download it uh, first of all install your notepad plus plus and after that further we go for uh, the installation of your git okay so that's fine and agree next next okay that's fine now your notepad plus plus is downloaded successfully and after that here we go for your the next steps for the setup of git okay so just click on the back button without closing it. So there is a no need to close your applications of Git and reinitiate it. So just click on the back button and click on the next button. And select the Notepad++ is also next. And the let's git uh, decode override the default uh, that is uh, let's get git that is the default options that is recommended also and use git from the git bash only and the git from the command line that is the options where you can select the git from the command line so just select the next button use bundled okay that's fine use the open ssl library that's fine click on the next check out windows use mint ty that is the use minimum windows default that is selected default fast forwarded uh, merge okay that's fine git credentials okay fine an essential file for the uh, enable files for the system fine there is no select for the options and install it after few seconds you notice that your kit is installed into your system and uh, let's again you have to open your command prompt if command prompt is uh, opened already then first of all close and reopen it and you can check the version of the kit that is installed into your system 
okay that's fine now just open it view release notes click on the finish button without check the view features okay now after that you have to open your command prompt again and check the latest version of uh, github sorry git first of all clause already existing already opened command prompt and just reopen your command prompt and check git dash dash version okay now after that uh, you have to log in into your uh, github.com and after that you can command that is next git config actually i want to configure your uh, github uh, websites so git config dash dash global and uh, just first of all i want to uh, configuration with the username so user dot name in the double quotation you can pass your username that is one tarun and the next thing is to add uh, the git config and next is global and configuration also with the email id so user dot email is one tarun at the rate outlook dot com that is my email id okay that's fine now after that just press it that's fine now after that you have to notice that your uh, github.com is logged in and uh, logged in and the next thing is to one tarun uh, just click on the slash new and create a new repository uh, so create a new repository that is the product admin portal dot api where i want to uh, upload api documentation okay so private and add a readme file add git on uh, getting nor file and getting nor file is actually mapped with your visual studio so just type it visual studio code sorry visual studio and create a repository okay and after that you have to create a new ui repository ui uh, product admin portal dot api that is created already and just create a new so just github.com slash new and also you can select that new options by the home page of github and here we can say just uh, owner is one tarun and the product uh, repository name is product admin portal dot ui and here we can select the private access and initialize the repository with there is no, none options will be selected at here in the ui options because i want to use uh, in the latter session i will discuss on these topics for the ui so just click on the repository create repository pattern okay so here we go here uh, push an existing repository from the command line create a new repository on the command line there is options for there after creating the uh, repository in the github.com so just open dot uh, api repository and here you can select the code and just click on it for HTTPS and just copy this path and clone it using git so just open the command prompt and first of all create a new directory that is the name is product admin portal okay product admin portal is actually exist on that folder or you can say that directory is existing on the desktop of your system so just copy that path and first of all exit exist in into this and open it again command prompt 
and cd slash backslash and cd that path will be copied at here and on this path just i want to clone it just i want to clone your uh, repository that is created on um, github.com so git clone and clone just i want to clone that repository on my local directory on my computer local directory that is here port uh, product admin portal okay so just after a few seconds you can see first of all uh, authorize with the tokens with the signed in into your github.com so there is and authorize git credential manager because that repository is privately accessed so authorize git is authentication is succeeded and after that you will notice that your clone is successful into your uh, local directory and you can check a another folder will created in the um, product admin portal there is uh, one that is api project and in which we have a single file that is getting nor file okay and the next one is uh, to uh, open visual studio and after uh, creating your api project in it here so select uh, api in uh, visual studio and just scroll it and esp.net core web api and here we go for uh, just select the path where your api project is there so there is just in the location section we can just paste it and the project name is port product portal admin product admin portal sorry and click to next and the framework version is 5.0 and click to next okay that's fine now in the command section you will just uh, push that uh, files in your um, github.com repositories so just enter into the api project first of all cd product admin portal dot api and enter into the path first of all and after that um, first commit will be uh, there so just i want to save these file on your github.com so first commit is uh, mandatory to push uh, there these files on your github.com so you can just use these command that is git add dot add space dot and warning will be there and after that you have to initiate your first commit git dash commit m for masses dash m initial commit that is initial commit that is masses will be shown on your github uh, repository and after that commit git commit dash m the commit a uh, masses name is uh, initial commit and after that you can go for the push all these file into your github.com so you can use in the command prompt push all these files so git push and enter so all these six uh, all these files will be copied into your uh, repositories okay so you can check in your uh, repositories on your github 
and refresh it and you will see your product admin portal dot api project will be shown so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net cover and angular and lots of more technologies